Anarchy. Hello everyone, welcome back to Electro Anarchy. Uh, today I thought we would look at uh, getting the GPIO working on this um, uh, this Orange Pi. Uh, this is the Orange Pi Lite version um, and from the things that I read um, it there, there wasn't a whole lot of stuff as far as the the light and getting everything right, uh, get everything working. And I, and I noticed that uh, when I started looking up the libraries and starting to find out exactly what was going on with it, uh, there's a lot of broken stuff. So I thought I'd go through uh, what I did in order to get uh, the GPIO working on this, and we'll go through it step by step. Uh, first of all, let's go over here to the laptop. Um, first of all, down here, if we can see. About this could be a little bit better but this is what I got all right here we go first of all you need to go to orangepie.org docs wiring pi um, this talks about uh, getting the uh, wiring wiring pi uh, GPIO library uh, installed on this uh, it is converted from Raspberry Pi and modified to work on the orange pies now it shows here for the mini and for just the standard uh, Pi, and I believe they're talking about the Pi PC. Um, this is an older, uh, this is an older uh, document referring to something that's not exactly there anymore. So what I had to do was I dug around and got to looking at different things. Uh, number one is the correct pinout and stuff, and what it led me to was here. Uh, basically, this is the current uh, GitHub. Um, the repository for wiring Pi, and it has been updated uh, to work on uh, the majority of of uh, these um, Orange Pi versions. So what you want to do is over here, you want to look at this clone or download. You know, right over here. I'm not showing it. Right over here, where it's green. Okay. So you want to click on this, and it's going to show you uh, the location of this. So what you're going to do is you're going to kind of going to go come over here, and it's going to tell you, uh, is it this one? No, it's not this one. Uh, this one right here. Okay. Let's see, hold on. No, let me say it was down here. Yeah, right down here. Right here this is what you're going to want to put in just right here so let's let's take this information and all this information that I'm going to be using comes from these three pages so if you want to go along you know go along with this let me zoom in here uh, these are the locations uh, the github and there is the address for the github okay and the rest of the info some of the other information came from here which is cnxsoftware.com and here's the address for that and then of course the uh, orangepie.org uh, docs wiring pie html okay so let's get over here on the system and let's see how this all works out okay first of all let's pull up a terminal so we're going to want to pull up the terminal emulator okay get this centered on screen here there we go all right first thing we're going to want to do is we need to load the wiring pi in so we're going to go uh, get clone http oops too many t's ps get hub I don't know how to say this. Zaole, I think. Wiring P dot get. And make sure you put these last things in. Dash B H3. Okay. You're gonna hit enter. Okay, we're all in. So the next thing you want to do 
is you want to check and see where you are. So let's do C. Oops. Let's do directory. Okay. So we have the wiring op directory here. We want to go into it. So let's go to the CD wiring op folder. Now we're in. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to shmod, chmod, plus x dot built. Okay, so we got that. Then we go to sudo build. Okay, enter our password. And it's going to build for a little while. Okay, so for what we need, uh, it's built. If we're going to run any of these other things, uh, you'd have to add in these libraries, but I don't see a reason for doing that. So let's just see if it's working on the GPIO. So uh, to check it, let's go GPIO, read all. And we, it's kind of hard to read right now, but oops, let's make this a little larger so we can get all the stuff on the screen at once. kind of hard to see but it tells you each pin starting up here these are your physical pins and it tells you the value for each pin and all of that and it looks like it is functioning so now we have the GPIO library in uh, and functioning on the system and from this point uh, it's just a simple matter of hooking up this guy plugging some stuff in making up some programs and playing around with it. So that's what we'll do next, but for this video, that's the end. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down and tell me why. Um, if you like this channel, please subscribe. And uh, hopefully you guys will have a, a great weekend, a good day. And as always, everybody take care.